to climate change, as well as student loan forgiveness. In the name of transparency, what promises should the public hold you accountable for against the next four years if they were to want to vote for you for re-election? What's up guys? Welcome back to Lion Mark TV. Mark here with another exciting, delighting, and much interesting video here on the channel. Anyway, this one was from um, Norway TV. And yes, uh, we all know Peter B was in the US and he did a lot of interviews with so many radio stations, TV stations, and a lot of others. Well, we don't have rights to every single clip you're about to watch now. The all belongs to Norway TV. So I advise you go subscribe or check them out. Now, he was asked about what are the key things Nigerians should hold him for aside the numerous campaign promises he and his opponent will be bringing up when campaign officially start in Nigeria and those are the things he said I want you guys to listen carefully to all he has to say in this video if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and also after you finish the video drop a comment let's hear your thoughts your opinion counts here a lot you're watching now TV assuming that I'm going to be elected <laughs> and what do I do from day one so I also want to jump into another question here and I want to make sure I get this exactly right so pardon my um, glance down but President Biden here in the U.S. approval rating has recently surged as he has made good on several campaign promises such as relating to climate change as well as student loan forgiveness in the name of transparency what promises should the public hold you accountable for against the next four years if they were to want to vote for you for re-election? Now you're talking about four years, so it's not day one. Yeah. I'm going to make sure that everything I promise is tackled simultaneously. Okay. And the promise is that, again, is insecurity, dealing with issue of rule of law and law and law that's in okay. the government's you know, bring stability mm -hmm. in the polity, uniting the country, mm -hmm. ensuring that it is, it is transparent and visible good governance, fighting areas of corruption, yeah. which will be visible and transparent, and people will see it, yeah. cutting the cost of governance, investing in human capital development, okay. The numerous challenges that Nigeria faces, uh, corruption, like you mentioned, a lack of stable electricity, lack of job growth, etc. What message would you have for those who have already just simply given up? Well, like it's happened in every other nation. We're not, what we're going through now and have happened in other nations. Mm -hmm. What it requires is just leadership. If we have a competent leadership with character and capacity. You start trying to pull the country out of all this. There's nothing difficult in saying, hey, today we're generating 4,000 megawatts of electricity, that we're going to move it in four years, in five years, from 4,000 to at least 10,000. It was the rocket science. 
will do it, people will see it, people will feel it. We're going to deal with the issue of corruption. Mm. It's something that is, as I preach it every day. If the leader is not corrupt, his family and those around him are not, you really see by. I did mention the youth, but brain drain is an enormous problem that Nigeria is facing right now. Many Nigerians abroad, including myself, dream of coming back home to build a home, to invest into Nigeria, to work in Nigeria, and contribute to it. However, many of us may be particularly scared due to the increasing violence that is partaking in the country. What is your action plan to fight against domestic terrorism in Nigeria? I'm not worried about my brain drain. Mm -hmm. They will be bringing it. Because they will come back. When we fix the place, you will be the first investors who will tell you more than we're going to do well now. Right. Because something has happened everywhere in the world. It is those who left Asian countries that went back and turned around. Mm -hmm. So you are going to come back and turn it around. When we bring stability, secure the place, Ensure that we church rule of law and all that. You are, will come back. So it's a game for us. You know, it might be a loss now because you've gone seen. You know. So dealing with this short period is what I said, where we deal with security. Mm -hmm. We will deal with it aggressively. I might not tell you, disclose exactly what we're going to do. But some of the measures we're going to use, are, we're going to increase the manpower within the as security agencies. If you haven't learned, at least today, you know these are the key things that P2B had, had said to the public in the US that these are the things he will be, you know, providing for Nigeria. Like he should be held accountable if he did not deliver in his promise when he become a president of nigeria and yes trust me it's important to always ask these questions thank you for watching please don't forget to drop a comment below because we value your thoughts here a lot